What's up YouTube? It's me Justin. I'm an opera singer. Today's video is Patron Pick of the Month and for this month they have chosen Leve, Dodi, Jacob Collier and the National Symphony Orchestra performing Wild Mountain Time live at the Kennedy Center. Let's go. The summer time is coming And the tree sweetly blooming and the wild mountain time rolls around the blooming heather will you go last soon Pretty. I will build my love a bower mm. by yon clear and crystal fountain, and on it. Ah. Uh. Okay, I think this is an okay time to pause. Wow, what a beautiful and peaceful folk song. I was immediately captured by the title, and I think that can do 
something to you, especially when the title is interesting. And so I immediately wanted to learn just a little bit about this song. I have never heard this song. So this is what I learned. Wild Mountain Time. The lyrics are a variation of a song called The Braes of Balwither, which is a song that was published by a poet named Robert Tannehill and a Scottish composer named Robert Archibald Smith. And it was published during the years 1821 through 1824. Wild Mountain Time is a Scottish and Irish folk song. And it was first recorded in 1957 by a man named Francis McPeak. I did notice at the beginning of the video, they showed a subtitle of two composers for this piece. And the first one, was Francis McPeak, the original recorder. The second one was a man named Jimmy O'Neill. Jimmy O'Neill was an American DJ and broadcaster. Next, let's talk about the music. And the first thing we can talk about is form. What we've heard so far, the structure of this song is very simple. There is a verse, that verse ends with the phrase, will you go, lassie, go? And then it's followed by a chorus where they all join in. And so far this has happened three times, each soloist getting their own verse. The verses are all set to the same melody. They might have some slight variations with one person doing a run that's unique to them, but for the general idea, the melody is the same. And then the chorus is also set to the same melody. You get the general idea that there's a lot of sameness, sameness in terms of melody. The delivery of the text and the delivery of that melody, of course, is going to be different and enhanced based on the singer, but for the basics, the melody is the same for the verses and the melody is the same for the chorus. These three singers are very distinct and have their own unique tones and expressive qualities. Starting with Jacob Collier, I thought that he had the best pronunciation. Oh, the summer time is coming And the trees are sweetly drooming And the wild mountain time Was around the blooming heather. His vowels and the way he shapes his words and gets from vowel to consonant, for me, it was easier for my ear to pick up all of the words and then form sentences. Then we have Miss Leve, who I've never heard before. My gosh, I got two interesting sounds from her. The first interesting sound is this, I don't, I don't want to do comparisons, but it's like a dramatic Billie Eilish effect. You know how Billie Eilish is known for that extremely soft sound and it's like, how do you, how do you do that? She takes that to a different extreme where it's like her vocal folds and the breath stop the sound but she continues the phrase by not taking an inhalation. To me, that is extremely difficult. It seems as if some of those phrases where she utilizes that technique, you just hear pockets of silence before the phrase actually ends, but you don't hear her taking a breath to continue that phrase. I think that is unbelievably difficult. It brings a lot of fragile qualities to the phrase. It enhances it in, in a much different way than the other two singers are doing. But then there's this other part of her voice where she sings a very full and a legato line, which is 
looked so different than what she was doing before. And I thought that was that was so cool to hear, one, the dichotomy between the two and how she was able to execute both ones. I will build my love I think I personally prefer the more fuller legato sound and maybe that's just my biased ear for classical music and just hearing the continuation of the phrase. It helps me, I think, connect the words and what is being said structurally within that sentence. But then once I have that, it's m more easier to appreciate the other qualities of the voice. I just thought that was incredibly cool and I really really do want to hear her sing more so that I can understand what she utilizes or what she's most known for. Then we have Miss Doty. Oh my god do I love her voice. Her voice is so good. There is a moment or a few moments where she just gave this very present full legato and beautiful, beautiful vibrato in some of her phrasing. And I was like, oh, don't stop. Just keep going. Make the phrase longer. Do whatever you need to do to just keep singing. I will reach to the world by Next, let's talk about some compositional components because there are some really, really cool things going on. Now, I don't have the sheet music for this and trust me, I looked everywhere for it. Maybe it doesn't exist, I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna pick at a couple of things that my ear caught and what I can remember. The first thing I remember is on the phrase and the wild mountain, oh, the title of the song, Wild Mountain Time. And it was particularly in the first chorus and specifically Jacob Collier's line. Oh, it was so good. And it's his line paired with the guitar playing. Oh, let's look at that. The phrase reads, to pull wild mountain time. And the frame shot in this section has the camera showing their backs. You can't see what is going on with their mouth. That's totally fine. We're gonna pay attention to what is going on orally. He really hovers around five, one, and then plays around a little bit with four, just very quickly before resolving up to five. So his phrase starts on five and then jumps up to one. Nothing new about that interval that is used literally everywhere in music for so long. So he starts on five, and then goes up to one and hits one again, but holds that one the second time for three times the amount of the first two, two notes. So to break that down a bit more, to pull wild mouth. So you see how wild he stayed there for three beats. That's just the rhythm of this chorus. The first syllable of mountain is on one still. And then the second syllable of mountain, he goes back down to five. To pull wild mountain. And then, ah, oh, 
He resolves on for time. Oh! It's so simple, it's so beautiful, and what makes this even more beautiful is what he's doing in the guitar. I did notice that he is playing six resolving to five, I think one or two times. And then on the very end of their phrase, on the word time, there's a huge shift in dynamics with his playing. When the three of them are singing, the guitar is very chill, it's very much a supportive part of this ensemble. And then there are moments where the guitar really becomes the focal point. And he brings that out so brilliantly in this part because they end on the word time. And this whole time, <laughs> the guitar, <laughs> wow. The guitar has been the supportive part. But then when they finish, he brings out that note so heavily and then for just a quick second it becomes the focal point i thought that was so smart and all of that coordination i think is really hard You're singing and you're playing, you have to remember your dynamics for your vocal part, and then you have to remember the dynamics for the guitar part. And that plays a big, big role in how the song is perceived. If you're playing the guitar just all fortissimo the whole time, because it's too hard to manage the dynamics between the two instruments, that's going to make the song feel different. Maybe I'm just a geek or whatever, but I thought that was so nice and it makes me appreciate his musicianship and just his his mind so much more and then we have to go to oh her phrase oh so there's a phrase that leve sings that goes i'm looking at the lyrics it goes all the flowers of the mountain and this is a perfect example of when i was saying before how she showed two different parts of her voice in a very short amount of time. This is the more legato full voice. It's long enough to, to, to bring a bit of tension to the phrase. And the way she ends the phrase, I think, says a lot, especially in a long phrase. If you end the phrase where you sound like you're out of breath, the phrase just drops or it's in a completely different placement than everything else in that same phrase before. I think that's somewhat of a giveaway of there was some breath management issues within that phrase. And on it, I will pass all the flowers of the mountain. Her phrase ending was so beautiful and you can see Dodie smile at the end of her phrase because I think she understood all that was going on in that magnificent phrase, how she started it, how she built up to the climax of that phrase and how she kept the strength of breath management to the very end of the phrase. That is beautiful. The guitar plays sharp one, resolving up to two. And this happens right before they sing, will you go, lassie, go all together. In the chorus before this, we didn't get that at all. And not only now, when we get this new variation, it comes at a time where there's a slight pause with the vocalist. And so it is all about the guitar. <laughs> Will you go? 
such a nice touch right before going to the final phrase.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is your future. I think it's going to be okay. Ah, oh, Ben Folds. Wow, what a great, wow, what a great phrase by Ben Folds at the very, very end. Music is so beautiful. No crying, <laughs> no crying. That's really something. I've got to give credit to everything that this declassified series is doing, everything that all three artists are doing, and how they were able to come together to do, to do this for the audience is just <laughs> really something special. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and comment down below what piece by your favorite artist you would like me to do a performance analysis on. Lastly, make sure to check out the description box for ways you can keep in touch with me, get access to exclusive perks, check out the Soprano Notes blog, and or take a lesson with me. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye!